Steve Huff Motorsports, who just completed a run on his Harley. What kind of Harley is it? Well, this actually uh, started out as a 2007 Buell XBRR factory road racer. So it was the last of the Buells um, while Harley still had control of them. Oh, okay. And the last of the Buells, uh, the pushrod, uh, you know, Harley style engines in the Buells. And how big is the engine? It's only 80 cubic inches, which is 1,339 cc's. Wow. And, um, You've been uh, out here a few times at this uh, Mojave Mile type of event yeah. at Mojave Airport, and I understand that you kept your goal was to try to do a 200-mile run. And in previous years, you'd get close. You'd like do like 197, and yeah. 198. Yeah, we've been close a lot of times, but you know, we race here and at El Mirage, and of course the Bonneville Salt Flats. But in history, there's never been a 200 mile an hour. Pa in history, there's never been a 200 mile an hour pass on a naturally acerated or any 80 cubic inch pushrod uh, motorcycle. And and you just did a run just now, and your I did. speed was? I went 200.5 on our shakedown run. And that was, oh, and, and uh, wow. I was, I got goosebumps again just thought, just thinking about it. I mean, I've so many years, you know, I've I've dreamt and, and worked so hard and sacrificed and the sponsors have done everything for me I've ever needed and it's just hours and we live in Seattle so to come down here you know to make this 22 hour drive just for a few test hits it's um, it's quite a commitment with my crew and everybody but they've been keeping track of these records for a long time and to try and get one of these little engines I call them little because today, by today's standards, an 80 cubic inch Harley isn't much. No. You know, they sell from the showroom at 110 cubic inches, and and uh, percentage-wise, that's quite a bit more. And no 1350 bikes done it. No 1650 cc pushrod bikes done it. No 2000 cc until you get to a 2000 cc, or maybe even 2500 cc. So we're kicking butt with it. It started as a really special bike. Uh, being a factory road racer, and I've been working on it for about six years. This oh was, you know, this was Eric Buell's last uh, big endeavor with Harley. And you know, when you start with an Eric Buell factory race bike, there's not a lot of room for improvement. <laughs> the guy's amazing, but uh, having such a great platform to be able to work with, it's taken some years and some nitrous, but uh, we just did it, man. Well, we're sitting here, it's roughly 85 degrees, going to be about 99 today. This was your first initial run, shakedown yeah. run, and you broke the 200 mile barrier and you're working on it right now. What do you think you might be able to get out of it now that you've done that? 206, 207. That's what you're shooting for. It's actually geared for 211, but I don't I, I don't think we'll have the weather today to do that. Density altitude's gonna go up and um, we may run out of weather. For my next pass, I'm going to get on the nitrous in second gear instead of third because it was still climbing out the back. Yes. But I was just running out of a little bit of room. So now we'll get on it in second gear and see if we can get it to 204, 205. Well, here we are in a no wind, no wind situation. Yeah. So that part's perfect. It and is. Um, yeah, so nobody can sit there and say, well, okay, you're win aided or whatever. That's right. Yeah. And uh, I hope to be able to, you know, talk with you uh, toward the end of the day and. And you've hit a few go a few more goals. And again, I, I hope so too. And if, that, if we get that usual Mojave win, we might go to 11. <laughs> <laughs> but then you'll always have an asterisk. Uh, exactly. By it. <laughs> thank you, Steve. Hey, thank you. Good luck. Yeah, thanks.